Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create gradients using CSS and HTML. So to get started we're going to open up Dreamweaver. Now I already have a couple of files created for you guys. I have an index.html file and a style.css. Now the only line of code that I've added besides just the default stuff that's in here is this line right here in our index.html. Basically it links the HTML and the CSS together so that we can apply styles from one to the other. So um, if you're not familiar with this pretty common um, tag, then you need to go ahead and bump the video up to HD so you can read it and add that to your code. So for the start of the actual tutorial, basically we're going to open up our body section in our HTML, and I'm just going to take and add in a div tag, so that's what we're going to be adding our gradient to. So an open and close div tag. Then in the first div tag, the opening one, we're going to do a space, id equals, and then two quotes, and inside of there we're just going to say like gradient underscore bg. So we're just going to name it something that's familiar. So now we can actually take that gradient underscore bg, copy it, go over to our style.css. Let's make sure we save this page. Pop over there, and basically we can just take out this default stuff, put a hashtag, then we're just going to paste what we have, so gradient underscore bg, open curly bracket, hit enter a couple times, close curly bracket, and now we're ready to actually start adding some styles to that div we created. So the first thing we need to do is actually make sure that we can see it. So we're just going to add a height and a width to it. So I'm just going to say width, and then a open, or a... Um, colon there and then we're just going to say 1000 pixels just to kind of give it a good width and then a semicolon and then if you hit enter you can um, using Dreamweaver you can actually get um, code finishing so I can just hit height and then I can say 150 pixels will probably be good semicolon on the end of that hit enter now we want to kind of center this on the stage so we're just going to say margin left and we'll set it to auto and then we'll say margin right and we're going to set that one to auto as well and this will basically center it within our page and then right now it's basically just an empty container so we're going to see nothing so we need to actually just add like a background color to it and we can take and just add an obnoxious color so we can make sure that we can see that pretty well so now if i take and save that and we saved our index.html we go to this page um the index one Go up here to our um, little world icon and go down and we can actually take and preview this right there in Firefox. I have some other tabs open there. Um, so just to keep this simple, um, we're just going to be adding it to this div. So you can see right now it's a beautiful green, but we're going to be taking and applying that gradient all the way across there. So in most circumstances, you would actually have to take and save out an image within, say, Photoshop that's 150 pixels tall and it's like one pixel wide, and then you just repeat it across. But for circumstances where you don't want to use images or you're trying to keep um, your bandwidth low or something, you might want to just generate it with CSS. So I'm just going to take and minimize that, and now we can actually start adding those gradients in. So the first thing we're going to do is just set our great, or our background color to something um, that we would want to use in case people couldn't use the CSS gradients. In certain browsers that aren't CSS3 compatible, um, you won't actually see um, a gradient because they can't the browser can't handle it. So it'll just show a regular background color. So you want to make sure that that's actually set. So we'll just make it like a default like lighter gray. So we'll just make it um, hashtag CCC, and that that should be okay. So now for our actual gradient, what we're going to do is first start off with Firefox because the different browsers do have different code in order to create gradients within them. So we'll have to add three different lines in order to handle all of the browsers, um, at least most of the main ones. So what we're going to do first is Firefox. So we're going to start by typing background, and then colon, space, dash, moz, dash, linear, dash, gradient, then open parenthesis, top, comma, hashtag, and then we'll just do our, um, we're just going to do a light gray to black, so I'm just going to do CCC, and we'll do comma, hashtag, and then three zeros, and then we're going to do a closing parenthesis, semicolon, so that's going to be a pretty simple gradient for us. So now what we're going to do is um, we could just take and view this if you guys want, so we're just going to go over to index and just preview this with everything saved, preview it in Firefox, and you can see our gradient is beautiful right there. And it opens a new tab every time we <laughs> preview it, which is a little weird. But So now we can just uh, take and go back and add those in for the other browsers, because currently it's only working in Firefox. So the next one we're going to do is over in our style.css, just hit enter. And we're going to do it for um, WebKit browsers. So we're just going to say background, colon, and then space, dash, WebKit, dash, gradient, open parenthesis, and then, spelled gradient wrong, 
Okay, and then open parenthesis linear. Okay, comma, and then space, and we'll say left, and then top, and there's a space between left and top, so left, space, top, and then comma, and we'll say left, space, bottom, and then comma, and space, from, and then this is where we pick our colors. So from, and then right next to the M1 from, we're going to have an open parenthesis and a hashtag, and then we're going to pick our colors again. So hashtag CCC, close parenthesis, comma, space, and then two, open parenthesis, hashtag 000, close parenthesis, and then close the entire thing because we still have an open parenthesis back here, and then a semicolon. And now that will be working in WebKit browser, which is basically um, Safari and I believe Chrome. So we can actually take and comment these out with a um, slash and then an asterisk, and you can say Firefox and then a asterisk slash. So now you can kind of label these so you know exactly what they're doing. And then this one, we're gonna say Safari and Chrome and do the same thing. All right, and so now the last one is good old Internet Explorer, which has something completely different and has usual. So we're going to say filter and then a colon. And this one's going to be um, ProGid is the best way I can pronounce that. So it's P-R-O-G-I-D. And then you're going to say colon, capital D-X, and then capital I, and your spelling image. So image, and then capital transform. And this is all jammed together into one word. And then dot Microsoft with a capital M, dot gradient, that's lowercase. And then open parenthesis, and we're gonna say start, and then color with a capital C and then str so there's a lot of stuff jammed together if you can't see it perfectly well make sure you are viewing in hd as i said before so now i'm going to say uh, equals and now we're going to actually get to pick our colors so i'm going to do single quotes um, which are basically apostrophes and then a hashtag ccc ccc this one basically uses all six um, characters i guess you could probably do a shortened one but i've seen it used um, with more so just give it give it what it wants so then we're going to hit a comma, space, and then we're going to say end color, again with a capital C, and then str equals a couple of single quotes, and then inside of there we're going to do our black, which is uh, six zeros. So then we're going to close out our parentheses, make sure that's outside of your um, single quotes, and then we're going to hit a semicolon to finish out that line. So I'm just going to hit save, and then what I'm going to do is go over into the index, click on this little world and we're going to preview in Firefox still working so we didn't somehow break that now we can do preview in Google Chrome good and we can take and preview in Internet Explorer and for whatever reason my um, <laughs> my script controls my security settings block that so you just allow it it would work if you uploaded it online and you can see it's working perfectly in there as well so there you have it guys, you have basically gradients rendered out without any background images, um, basically creating them with the um, repeat function, which is how you would normally do it. Um, but so this is completely CSS based gradients. Um, so I hope you guys create some pretty cool stuff with this. Uh, make sure to subscribe, rate and comment to my channel. I have a new video coming out every week. Um, and I will see you uh, next time with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.